Well, hello everybody. Nick McGinnis here uh, with Meadow Green Farm and been out here fixing a fence. Actually, we have a, a, a crossing here. We call them Ford sites in Nova Scotia where uh, you're permitted to cross the river with a tractor or you can get cattle or, and livestock to cross the river. Um, you're not really supposed to be in the river, but these Ford sites, historic sites where tractors and farm equipment have crossed the river uh, they've been grandfathered in where you can maintain and use these for farming operations and we have a fence going across here it's kind of a temporary fence it uh, we take it up in the winter when we get a lot of high water and I need this crossing to access a bunch of pasture with my cattle and I've just been out here in the rain for about almost two hours fixing the fence that crosses this um, there were some big ice flows this winter really high water went out into the floodplain had some floating logs catch up in the fence they tore out a couple corner posts so i've been meaning to get to this for the last month or so but i need to move the cattle in here tomorrow and it, it kind of occurred to me today as i was out here working in the rain this is like the fifth day in a row that I've been able to work on the fence in general in the past month. And every day that I was working on the fence, it was raining. And it's not that I really enjoy working in the rain, but it's what you have to do if you want to succeed in farming. And I'm sure a lot of people are in similar situations where they're starting out or they're hoping to start out in their farming enterprise. You might have a young family. My wife and I have a 10 month old baby and you have to make sure that i've said this to people before you have to be very careful when you're chasing your dreams that it doesn't turn into a nightmare and so what i mean by that is you can get so focused on making the farm work taking on too many things and you end up shortchanging your your family time and that can cause a lot of issues and in the long run you're just not going to be successful with that type of um, operation so these days that have been raining on the weekends over the past month I've really put the full court press on to get some work done these are days where you can't be outside playing with the kids or going to the beach doing some recreation time with the family everybody's kind of cooped up inside but as a farmer and as someone just starting out these are the days that you have to take advantage of if you want to have an operation that is going to avoid having issues. So you can skip doing fencing and have poor fencing infrastructure. And then guess what's going to happen? When it's most inconvenient, you're going to have animals get out. So if you want to make these type of ventures a success, you're starting out, you have to be able to grin and bear it, work in the worst conditions, because that's when other things aren't gonna be happening with the family. So I just thought this was something worth sharing. If you're st thinking of starting a farm enterprise, I I'm out here in chest waders because it's been pouring rain all day. I just took the rain jacket off uh, to grab the cell phone and shoot this, and, and the rain is finally stopping, and I'm about to wrap up my my afternoon on the fence i'm going to go and check in with the family so if you're thinking of starting a farm or you're just starting a farm be prepared to work in the rain and when it's least convenient for you but you just have to gear up and get out there and do it and another thing that can really help is this fence was on my to-do list i had like five or six things that i started the month of June with that needed to get done in the next six weeks. This was on the list. I had been picking away at it and I knew today two hours or so out in the rain and I could get it done. And I'm just about to finish it up here today. So I thought I'd share that with you. A little bit of encouragement, a little bit of a warning and just something I've learned through the years of trying to make this work. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. If you want to follow along with some more farming um, how to's and just my experiences getting an operation from A to B, uh, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you.